What's happening, sports fans? We are into the spring season, and that means one of my low-key favorite sports, lacrosse. And we get to talk now to Brooke DiMaggio. She is a current San Marcos Knight and is committed to uh, Jacksonville University, which I got to admit, I did not in all of my things that I prepped and, and, and went in for this interview. I didn't look up the mascot for Jacksonville. So you're switching from a knight to what next year? A dolphin. All right. <laughs> That's that's awesome. That's that's great. That's that is not what I expected any college mascot to be. So, uh, congratulations on that decision. What what went into that? What was that choice for you? Um, I knew from like when I started first started playing lacrosse, I wanted to play in college. So I started my search. I would say a little earlier, and I narrowed it down from the beginning pretty fast. Like I knew I wanted a small school, a good program, of course, and a good team dynamic was very important to me. And it's in Florida, like it's not much of a difference from California, like weather type. Just so more that, humid. I'm Just sorry? Definitely, definitely more humid and yeah. more alligators. Yeah, for sure. But it was either that or in being in the snow and I, yeah, so that's why I chose Florida. But the team dynamic is, it really checks every box for me when it comes to the team dynamic, the competitiveness, and the school is great too. I have to ask everybody this class of 20, 21, 22, have you been there yet? Have you actually yeah. visited? Okay, you have. Mm -hmm. um, you yeah, are I the went first, there before I committed. You are the first one that I have talked to of all my interviews today that has actually visited the school that is going to be their home for four years. Really? I, yes, and I kids committed to Colorado schools and Brown University, and they're like, nope, never actually been there taking it entirely on zoom links. Yeah. I'm with you. I give that same look. I'm like, couldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could do that either. It's such a big commitment. Like, so you seem like someone that was kind of a self-starter then and lacrosse it, it's getting bigger out here on the yeah. West coast, but it's still not something where there's really that full blown infrastructure built up for, for youth sports. So maybe what's some advice then that you would give to somebody right now, who's freshman, eighth grade, sophomore, whatever it is, just a younger kid, that wants to play college lacrosse, what's some advice that you might give to a student athlete? Um, definitely. I did a lot of like looking at schools before I even started talking to them, like just to see what I liked and what I didn't like. And so definitely look everywhere and don't like shut down any options too early because you honestly never know when the time comes. And where did your order for or your offer from Jacksonville come? Was that early on in the process or were they one of the last ones to actually finally yeah. offer you? I, I went like, cause we, they could start talking to us on September 1st. I got a lot of my interest and in offers then. And so then I went out and like visited, like I would say I had all my visits and then I made my decision after I saw everything. So September, the start of September was pretty big for you. Uh, it sounds yeah. like a, a lot, a lot of interest starting to roll yeah. in. Um, but Jacksonville was always like, once you, once you got that offer, there was no going back because it fit all the criteria. It sounded like it was Florida yeah. and it was perfect. Great. Awesome. I heard over summer before we could talk to them that they were interested in me. And so I definitely did some looking. Yeah, I did, I did some looking before. So I knew I was like, before I went into it, before I got on the phone call, but. Nice. Um, well then let's, let's transition over to the season now. Uh, it is great to have anything to talk about, let alone uh, playoffs are going to be back now. And that means everybody in seasons, the season two or the spring kids are uh, going to get their, their two years worth of sporting angst uh, released this year. Yeah. You're pretty good to be back out with the team. Tell us about how the season's been going a little bit. Um, yeah, it's honestly great. I love high school sports. I think it's so such good like opportunities to meet new people and play like all your different friends because a lot of my friends are on different high school teams from club because we all play together on our club teams so it's cool seeing all my different friends when we play against them a little bit of the friendly rivalry ish yeah I suppose. <laughs> for, sure. um, for you guys though uh how do you feel like a defense kids are always the, I feel like the, the, they're not the braggadocious. Oh yeah. We're going to come out here and win a championship. Those are the, those are the offense kids because they're always out there scoring and they're the ones actually, yeah, like we got to have the confidence, but you know, what, what do you feel? Are you getting a Are you getting a good vibe from this year's team? Do you like where you guys are at early in the season? Yeah. I mean, we definitely lost a lot last year. We lost about five 
of our like key starting score scores. So it's a bit it's a bit of a rebuild, but honestly, like we had I would say like twenty four new people in varsity. Yeah, we lost a lot. Okay, there so, you go. That's a yeah, high. Honestly, number. it's fun to like. So it was fun for us, like the captains and the returning players, to meet everyone and like make a team and like start from the beginning. And I'd honestly say it's going pretty well. I, for twenty four new people going yeah. well, sounds like the the most positive, glowing possible review. <laughs> Um, okay, you're on defense, so you can maybe get a front row view at this. I have to ask every single lacrosse person that I talk to because I did not grow up playing this sport. I, I graduated from La Jolla High School here in 2009, so CIF lacrosse was really just sort of starting to even be a thing. It was more like the spare sport that the spring kids yeah. didn't have something. To, I just didn't know about it. I got my education in college about it back east. I came back out here, and I really fell in love with it, but um going from not knowing it to watching only the college game i really came to realize that lacrosse goalies and i want your input on this are they the most mentally unstable people in all of sports honestly it takes a lot to like get scored on and then just like come back and need to like start you have to be a crazy person to yeah. like okay the, yeah i get that they have this like that they can move but willingly move your body in front because i feel like some of them are just like oh yeah do you see that i took six balls off the shins today or or like something like that i'm like no what yeah that makes you happy that's what you signed up for i feel like goalie should be the punishment position like whoever got here last you have to play goalie today but yeah like lacrosse goalies are crazy people right yeah Okay. Good. I, don't, I don't know how they could do it. Like it. So no, no time ever spent in goal for you. No. And I'm short. Like I'm not the biggest. So for me being in goal, I don't think that was like. Fair enough. Strange. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I yeah no I you could never not enough money could you pay me to to sign up for for taking some of those shots especially on the guy side of it because. I mean, yeah. they, they just wear shorts and I'm like, no, 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 no. But even then the girls in general, lacrosse balls seem like they are flying very, very fast and oh, hurt a ton. Um, some of the new girls rules have been changing the last couple of years and things feel like they're getting faster. The sport's becoming a little bit more dynamic. You enjoy the direction that girls lacrosse is going? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's definitely turning into, like you said, a faster game and that's more of what we like. And definitely it's, it's not as like aggressive as like guys, obviously, but it's definitely getting there. Like we're well, having so, well, a little more of like a leeway. Let me ask you this then. Would you want to play the guy's game? Like, would you want the, I mean, cause I've seen some of the girls teams starting to wear helmets to allow for a little bit more leeway on that. But would you just outright want to play the guy's version of the game? Um, honestly, like they shoot it so cool and they're so like, and it's, I it would be cool to hit somebody. So like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> just the, just the ability to just go in and just, oh yeah, yeah. I'm going for the ball and ah, like with ah. a stick and you could just whack somebody like who wouldn't. Uh, that's where the one thing I've always said is I missed out on being a long stick nitty. Yeah. Cause I would have loved, I feel like that's one of the, the most awesome feelings. Just like, no, 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 my stick's longer than yours. Whack, whack. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, the girls game, it does, like I said, it seems like it's getting a lot more fun and it seems like it's um, starting to speed up a little bit, especially once you get to college. Uh, yeah. But in general, it just seems like passing and catching and cradling is so infinitely harder than anything the guys game has to do that yeah. I'm like, no, that just seems unfair that they have to deal with uh, 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 trying to get that. Uh, no. yeah. Girls teams that have good pass, like for you guys on the defense, when you clear it out real fast, I'm always just like, wow, that's a sign of a team that <laughs> has a solid foundation for the fundamentals. Uh, I really appreciate you giving us some of your time talking with us a little bit. I like to close out on, it's kind of an open-ended loaded question, but having taken a year off of just like all of us took a year off of kind of life and doing stuff that we all love. What do you think you appreciate more about high school, about high school sports, just about all of your experience and time at San Marcos now that you've had a time, you know, year off and you've got it back now. What do you think you appreciate more? Um, definitely meeting and like having conversations with a bunch of different people that are from like, different backgrounds and do a bunch of different things and just talking to people every day that do have such different lives outside of school and especially with sports where you need to like put all of your outside drama or like life behind you and just focus on the game that's why I think it's so cool that everyone just comes together and plays lacrosse for like two hours a day 
without thinking about anything else. Just put everything else in the world on the back burner. Yeah. Uh, put all your troubles away and just go hit someone. Yeah. Or, or for you, or for you, get a shooting space penalty. One of the two. Uh, as you probably are really frustrated with with even hearing that word, probably ew, gives you shivers uh, down your back. We really appreciate you. Like I said, giving us a little bit of your time. Congratulations on becoming a Thank dolphin you. next year. Yes. Um, this is just another one of the great student athletes that we're really encouraging you guys to go out and support this year because they're going to be representing all of us here in the San Diego section as they go on to bigger and better things. We will include all the information in the link below about how you can catch one of San Marcos games this year uh the discuss is mission hills the main rival for you guys is is that across the board school wise or what's the big rival for you guys we, program wise we, we did already beat mission hills nice so well that's why it might not even be a competition for you guys i i know i just i know that your two schools are rivals but yeah, I, I don't know if that applies for every single sport what's what's say, left on the schedule um the biggest rival games like tory lcc we we were supposed to play scripts yesterday but that got canceled so, yeah. Well, we will give you guys all the information so you can go catch at least one of those games and uh, support Brooke and everything uh, San Marcos before she's on to be a Dolphin. Thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you guys next time.